Boom! There we go. There we go. That's the project we're going to be building right now. It's locally running, it's pulling data from the back end. If you think this video is, if you think this project is pretty awesome, the design, the UI is amazing, just smash the like button and um, go ahead and, you know, comment, suggest the video, share the video to your friends, everybody who is into Next.js. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Next.js. If you're into that buzzword and you've been hearing it around the internet, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you all the latest cool things about Next.js components, how to, um, you know, pull data from any API within your component, client um, components and server components, the pros and cons of which one you should use. So stick around that. And guess what? We have something. All right. When we take a look at this video, this project, um, it's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. So in this project, we're going to be, uh, you're going to see how everything works with this interactivity. This is pretty much CSS. And then guess what? You can watch a full video. I'm going to mute this. Yeah. We can watch the full movie in here. Um, I mean, for disclaimers, for copyrights and stuff, I just use the trailer. But we're going to see how this works. And guess what? It's responsive, fully responsive, all right? So let's get into that. There we go. That's on the iPad, medium screens, mobile screens. So this is this is something that's going to be amazing, all right? Let's get into the video and we'll see how we built this up. And uh, I'm excited. I don't know if you're excited. And uh, if you think you are, let's smash that like button. Share the video. Comment down below because I feel a lot of energy. Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna leave this around just for our design and um, hopefully, yeah, I'm gonna leave that around for design purposes. And what, I, what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty sure if I run a new one, this will crash, but I'm gonna make sure, gonna sh uh, make sure it will keep running, then I'll, you know, uh, run the other one on a different API all right so we're running that let's get our data okay so I went ahead and created a new uh, folder on my desktop ah no that's not what I wanted I'm gonna delete that So I'll go ahead and rename this. This is going to be a movie Mingo. That's a fancy name, pretty name. So the, then the next thing we're going to do is um, tab into this. Okay, so now we're in movie Mingo. First thing we're gonna do is to create a next JS next JS app, all right? NPX create next. So just type in this, all right? So so NPX create next app. It's pretty much like um, React, but um, you know, this time around you write create next app. Then the at latest is just trying to ensure that I'm getting the latest updates from next JS 13. Then the next thing is gonna be our movie name, movie mingo. Okay, that's if I can spell. Alright. So it's gonna take you through a bunch of things in here. Alright. So it's asking um Yes, do you wanna use next JS 13? I'm gonna say yes. Then it's gonna ask TypeScript. I'm gonna say no. 
then I'm gonna say yes to that then I'm gonna say no to Tailwind CSS then source directly yes I need that then yes I need the app router then um, so this is anybody can do um, you know it's all about how what you want um, this is like with the alias is like when you're importing something all right so that's you know when you say dot dot okay so this time around there's a new advanced feature whereby you can um route your stuff in a different way i'm just gonna go to no it doesn't matter really so the app is gonna go ahead and create that and um i'm trying to make sure so Yeah, if you think you're enjoying this already, just go ahead and smash that like button. All right. So um, smash the like button and subscribe, comment down below. All right. That's that's creating its thing. So the next thing we're going to do here, I'm going to try to make sure that I have all my things, all my resources in line. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much all set. What we're going to do, we're going to CD into uh, Moving Mingo. And then that's where the app is. Then I'm going to clear that. Then get inside that. All right. There we go. So what I'm going to do in here, all right, I'm going to install Bootstrap, okay? Feel free to use whatever you want. So you can use Tailwind, but I'm just going to go ahead and use Bootstrap. And um, you can use Yarn or NPM. I'm going to use NPM. Yes, I meant that npm install. There we go. That's all set. So a couple of other, a couple of other packages that we're gonna need. Um, we are gonna need. We, we are going to need the React model, okay? So what do I mean by the React model? The React model is the one that where you press on something, a model pops up, all right? So that's like sign up pages. You can use that for sign up pages. Um, for us, we're going to use it for the video. So we're going to say npm install React model. And then the next thing we're going to uh, install is we're going to say npm install the react player. So this is what is going to help us play the actual video. Okay. So all that is installed. Now we can go ahead and uh, minimize that. Oh, before we do minimize that, we are going to uh, we're gonna run our actual app npm run dev so this is gonna run on a different port compared to the initial one okay so there we go so in port um 301 because the other one is active when you open that boom boom there we go so that's our app all right so um i'll go ahead and put this on the side and there we are so if you feel this video was really helpful to you just go ahead and subscribe to the channel because this is part one of this series and we're gonna go all the way to the back end using java and spring so see you in the next video you whip up my appetite.